If you would like to appear on an episode of My Story Living with Lupus, you can contact us at mystorylivingwithlupus at gmail.com. Also visit us on our Instagram page and also our website, My Story Living with Lupus. The views and opinions expressed on my story, Living with Lupus podcast, represents each person's individual experience. By listening to this podcast or reading our blog, you agree not to use this podcast or blog as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others. As always, consult your own physician for any medical issues that you may be having. My Story Living with Lucas podcast is officially trademarked, all rights reserved. Thank you for joining me for another episode of My Story, Living with Lupus. I'm your host, Susan Hendricks, and I'm so glad that you could join me on this Friday morning, August 7th, 2020. Hey, you know, your oral health is just as important to your physical health. But has your rheumatologist or dentist ever explained to you about the periodontal disease and the lupus connection? If not, stay with me. Also, we'll be talking about the second so-called stimulus package. That's right, where a lot of American people are in limbo right now waiting for Congress to come together and make the best decision for the people who they serve. So, you know what I want you to do? That's right. Grab your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, and to all my listeners late at night, you know I appreciate you. So grab your favorite glass of wine from all the way from the United States to South Africa. Come on and join the conversation right here on my story, Living with Lupus. We all know the benefits of apple cider vinegar. Now, you guys know that I'm a vegan and that I have lupus along with other health issues. I used to take ACV every morning before I worked out, but eventually the taste of ACV got to me and I had to look for another alternative. And that's when a friend of mine turned me on to Goli. Goli is the first apple cider vinegar gummy. They give you all the benefits of ACV without the taste. That's right. Goli is vegan, gelatin free, gluten free, and 100% organic. And the vitamins and the ACV in Goli promotes a healthy heart by maintaining a healthy 
cholesterol range, controls blood sugar levels, and also curbs your appetite. And the best part about Goli, for every sale generated, a child in need receives a six-month supply of essential vitamins with vitamin angels. So, if you don't believe what I'm saying, I'm going to give you some information so you can try Goli for yourself. Here's a promo code you can use. It's Sue Lynn One. That's S U E L Y N N E One. And you'll receive 5% off of your initial purchase. Also, I'll leave a link. In the description in the podcast. So why don't you go and try it for yourself? You won't believe how good it tastes. That's goalie. Yes, it's all about the oral care connection. Now We know that the mouth is a hotbed of activity for bacteria, many of which can cause problems to a person's overall health. In our mouths, we have 500 different types of bacteria, at least 11 of which can cause periodontal disease. Now, Lupus, it starts the problem. It can be elevated highly because of poor oral hygiene. Now, when I say lupus starts the problems, you know, with lupus, there is inflammation. Inflammation everywhere, including the mouth. And with inflammation comes oral ulcers. You see where I'm going with it? That's right. Now, lupus is tied to a variety of oral health concerns. But when it comes to periodontal disease, more commonly known as gum disease, is of particular concern because of the link between inflammation of the gum area and the overall relationship between oral disease and other systemic diseases and medical conditions. It is imperative that patients understand periodontal disease and how it is treated or prevented. Now, I want to tell you a little story about a young lady named Laura. Now, when Laura went to her dentist for her regular six-month cleaning, she thought she would leave with a brighter smile and perhaps a boost in her self-confidence. She never imagined she would find a champion who would help her receive the diagnosis she has spent years looking for. Now, her lupus story is actually one that began with the dentist. That's right her dentist. You know, she had been going through health problems her entire life and was always in and out of hospitals. But she always left the doctor's office scratching her head in wonder. 
Like, what is going on with me? I know it's something that is going on, but what is it? But on the day of Laura's dental appointment, um, she was experiencing an outbreak of the oral ulcers she had since she was like 18. Her mouth was badly broken out, but she knew she needed to go because she suspected she had a cavity. Now, she warned the hygienist about her oral ulcers and asked her to please be gentle. Now, the hygienist spotted 50 to 100 ulcers. Then the hygienist called for the dentist, who referred Laura to an oral pathologist to rule out oral cancer. Now, when the test came back negative, the dentist referred Laura to a rheumatologist. Blood work confirmed that as the dentist suspected, Laura had an autoimmune disease. That's right, Laura had lupus. Now, most lupus diagnoses occur within the intervention of a dentist. But Laura's story illustrates two important points. Systemic disease such as lupus may include some sort of oral involvement and good regular dental care with a trusted dentist can help discover and alleviate any problems that may arise. Now, the oral care connection. As I stated before, we know that the mouth is a hotbed of bacteria. Now, when it comes down to periodontal disease, as I told you earlier, more commonly known as gum disease, is a part of a particular concern because of the link between inflammation of the gum area and overall health of the rest of the body. Now, we know that... um, Recent scientific literature suggests a strong relationship between oral disease and other systemic diseases and medical conditions. As I stated before, it is imperative that patients understand the periodontal disease and how it is treated so it can be prevented. Now, Studies show three ways oral disease can affect a person's health. Number one, bacteria from the gums can enter the saliva and may be inhaled into the lungs, which can cause pneumonia or pulmonary infection. Number two, bacteria can enter the circulatory system through the gums and travel around the body, contributing to existing disease processes or causing secondary infection. Now, inflammation associated with gum disease may stimulate inflammation in other parts of the body or complicate other diseases such as cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, diabetes, even certain forms of cancer. Stay with me and we'll get further into the periodontal disease 
and the Lupus Connection. You know, those of us with lupus experience hair loss, thinning hair, either from the illness or the medication we take. I have the perfect solution for you. It's called Vitalize. Yes, Vitalize can help you. They are in the business of growing healthy hair. They have a hair system that can help you, and even better, they have a new and improved edge control gel. That's right, ladies. There is no flaking. It lays down the edges and also protects it from heat. But wait one minute. Most importantly, the edge control has the award-winning hair growth ingredient retinin saw. Addition to the three-part scalp treatment system, there is a silk pillowcase for you to lay those growing locks on. Shampoo, conditioner, and multivitamin gummies. You can see reduced shedding. In two weeks, you heard me, and most See results in four. To see proof for yourself, go on over to VitalizeHair.com. That's V-I-T-A-L-I-Z-E-H-A-I-R.com. And use the referral link listed in the information box on this podcast. Is there progress in Washington for a second stimulus check? Well, reported two hours ago from the Chicago Tribune, sides still very far apart and no meetings set for today, which is Friday, on talks of a second stimulus check. Washington talks on vital rescue money are teetering on the brink of collapse after a marathon meeting in the Capitol generated little progress on the top issues confronting negotiators. There is a handful of very big issues that are still very far apart on said Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. He talked of impasses on aid to states and local governments renewing supplemental unemployment benefits in Thursday night's meetings. Now, both sides said the future of the talks is uncertain. No meeting is scheduled once again for today, Friday, an informal deadline to reach a broad outlines of an agreement. Now, a breakdown in the talks will put at risk more than $100 billion to help reopen schools. A fresh round of $1,200 direct payments to most people and hundreds of billions of dollars for state and local governments to help them avoid furloughing workers and cutting services as tax revenues shrivel. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer of New York emerged to give a pessimistic update about the chances for an agreement. We're very far apart. It's most unfortunately, Pelosi stated. Both sides have adopted a hard line in the talks. So, the Democrat pair say the federal 
virus aid package, I'm sorry, needs to be huge to meet the moment. A surge in cases and deaths, double-digit joblessness, and the threat of poverty for millions of the newly unemployed. That was your update for the second stimulus check round. Do I believe a they will come to an agreement? Not anytime soon. To me, it looks like they're, one side is playing politics with the other side, while the other side is trying to ensure that people in this country gets help. So, what are your thoughts on this issue? Let me know. Well, it's that time for me to go. Look, you guys, I'm repainting the inside of my parents' home. I walked in one day and I looked and I said, hmm, there's no changes that have been done to the inside of the home as far as the painting work goes. Um, since my parents have um, been gone, so I decided the other day to pick up some paint and um, paint the inside of their home. Um, in a way that I think that they would like. So that's what I'm doing now. But I want to leave you with this. When life's storms begin to bellow and they try to bend and break you, let your tears run rivers over the rips and ridges of your petals. Let your emotions nourish you back to bloom. I'm Susan Hendricks, your host for my story, Living with Lupus. Before I sign off, I want you to let you know if you live in the state of Michigan, go on over to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash c-e-m-p-h foundation dot com fill out your certificate of need for back to school support we my foundation is providing two families with a one hundred dollar visa gift card to help you along your way and also they're providing one educator with a hundred dollar visa gift card for supplies in your classroom. So go on over to the foundation's website, fill out your certificate of need and get that to me. There is a deadline. The website, the foundation's website address again is HTT. P.S. colon forward slash forward slash C-E-M-P-H foundation dot com. I wish you a most peaceful, blessed weekend. Stay safe and wear your mask. The view and opinions expressed on my story, Living with Lupus Podcast, represents each person's individual experience. By listening to this podcast or reading our blog, you agree not to use this podcast or blog as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others. As always, Consult your own physician for any medical issues that you may be having. My Story Living with Lupus podcast is officially trademarked, all rights reserved. Mm-hmm.